welcome to my channel options trader today so today in this video i will explain you how the price of natural gas has moved in the last week and how the price of natural gas can move in the next week see if you look at the chart of natural gas what we have seen as i have already told you that after pandemic there is a pattern forming in natural gas okay and if you look at this particular pattern that it went to this particular level came up and once started making high then we have seen a sharp fall okay so for the second time what it did it crosses this particular high made a new high and we have seen a swing is forming and then a sharp fall okay third time it went upside made a swing at this particular level and then again sharp fall okay this is being repeated fourth time as well as for the fifth time okay and a swing is forming whenever it goes high a swing form and then when it comes close to this particular level and it makes a new high okay so chances was high that this was the swing okay that as and when this particular swing has come it made a high of around 8.1 dollars and from there it came again down but if this sustain that means if it sustain above 8.1 then chances are very high we can see it can cross this particular level also because the same pattern is being created for five times continuously okay so before we move forward and explain you where the price of natural gas can move in the next week if you have any doubt mail me at stock market trading live at gmail.com and one more mail id in the description please watch the full video so you understand how this technical work and a telegram link also given in the description you can join that too okay now look at this particular chart closely what you can see a trying to form a flag pattern if you look at this particular chart there is a flag pattern forming so once this particular level if you look at this particular a narrow pattern is of forming which is shown like a flag okay so if this level didn't sustain a probability can be seen that it can move further down okay and i have keep explaining in my previous video also that these are the support which is already a weak support as you can see that when a level comes that means if the first time it hits then we can see a bounce back second time hits mostly it hits and then move down but what it we have seen that first second and third time we have seen this level has not sustained okay so probability is high that it has already made a low from 5.120 dollars okay so chances are high that if that level goes further down a probability we can see it can go towards a level of 4.990 dollars and from there we can see it can move further low okay suppose if the price sustain this particular level which is on a lesser chance yes it cannot sustain but sub, but you cannot think that the market will go upside or downside okay because it is quite volatile if you look at this particular chart also okay you cannot blindly trust that the market will go in one direction or it will go in the negative or positive any direction so you have to be careful when you trade or invest okay this is what i teach in my workshop see suppose if you if you are in profit always try to be in uh, exit in profit if you are in loss always set a sl for your particular day or a particular trade okay so that your capital should not be wipe out okay so for this particular week we have seen there is a continuous downtrend so suppose if the price sustain this particular level which is on a lesser chance but we can see if it sustain that level we can see it can go towards a level of 5.66 dollars okay and if that level also sustain then chances of moving further upside is there then we can see a level of 5.929 dollars okay and if that level moves further upside then we can see it can go towards a level of around 6. One two three dollars. Okay, and suppose if the price move up that particular level, then we can see it can go towards a level of around six point five two six dollars. Keep this in mind. This is the support acting as a resistance as of now. So once it start moving upside and sustain this particular level, then we can see it can go further high and can touch a level of around six point nine nine six dollars. Six point nine nine six dollars. Okay, and this is the particular. after this particular resistance this is the resistance so if this level sustain then we can see it can go further upside and a probability of going further high and then we can see it can cross a level of around 7.5 dollars because if you look at this particular chart 6.99 dollars is a weak resistance and a level of around 7.3 is also weak resistance so chances of moving further upside is there okay this in mind once it sustain this particular level chances of touching 7.5 is on a higher side but suppose if the price didn't sustain which is on a higher side yes it cannot sustain if the level goes further down because i have already explained you and keep making you note that 5.3 is a weak support 
सो चांसेस इट हैज ऑलरेडी मेड अ लो ऑफ अराउंड फाइव पॉइंट वन टू वन फाइव जीरो डॉलर्स एंड इफ दैट लेवल ऑलरेज इन सस्टेन देन वी कैन सी इट कैन मूव फॉर द लो सपोज द प्राइज इन सस्टेन चांसेस ऑफ टचिंग अ लेवल ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट टू फोर नाइन इज देर एंड फ्रॉम देर वी कैन सी अ लेवल ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री डॉलर्स ओके नाउ इट इज करेंटली ट्रेडिंग एट अराउंड फाइव पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फोर डॉलर suppose if the price didn't sustain this particular level also then we can see it can move further low and a probability of touching 4.796 dollar is there and if that level move further down then a probability of touching 4.460 dollar is there okay and once the price move below this particular level chances are very high that we can see it can go further down and a probability of touching 4.1 Eight one dollar is there, so you have to keep that that in mind. That once the price fall below a level of four five point three, a probability of touching five point zero two six there is, and from there we can see a level of four point seven nine six. And once it move below this level, then we can see a level of this particular trend. Okay. So any doubt regarding this, you can mail me. I've given the mail ID in the description. Now understand something. Suppose if you are trading with ten thousand dollars, try to trade with ten to fifteen percent of capital per trade. Okay. And a risk of zero point five to one percent. Per trade, that is thousand to fifteen hundred, fifty to hundred. Okay. Suppose if you took five trades, your maximum risk is five hundred dollars. Okay. So per trade is hundred dollars. So suppose if you lose all five five trades, your maximum loss is five hundred dollars. Then you can relax for the day. Okay. What people do is they lose so much money in the first day itself, they try to recover it. Okay, and suppose they they lose five thousand, they will try to recover the same day. Okay, they will not wait for the next day also, and then they lose their full capital. Okay, this is what I teach in my workshop: how to overcome all these barriers. Okay, how to trade psychologically, when to trade, when to exit, when to hedge, and all these things. If you want to attend that workshop, mail me regarding that, and we can work out on the timing. So hope you like the video, and if you like the video, please give a thumbs up, and if you new to my channel, please subscribe it.